Hey, what's up guys? My name is John. Welcome to Daily Theology. Courtesy of Bible Thumping Wingnut Guy, um, I saw he did this article, so I looked it up. Uh, he did a, a video on this, this uh, article on Protestia, and Phil Johnson and John MacArthur were in a movie on the radio. Now, apparently this movie is like violent and horrible, but uh, it's interesting, the topic, so I'm going to play this. Uh, it's a minute and a half, but I think it's good. It's really encouraging to see uh, this type of thing get into movies because it's basically kind of like a gospel track, even if people don't recognize that it's happening. So check this out. You're saying that you don't believe the major problem, the major moral issue across our country today is not pornography, it's not homosexuality, it's not abortion, it's not liberalized education or any of these other things that we typically identify. The real basic moral problem Well, yeah, that's absolutely right. The lack of, not only the lack of confidence in the Word of God, but the lack of submission to it as the absolute authority. You and I went to Italy one time. So he's talking about the absolute lack of authority in the confidence of the Word of God. And uh, this is... Uh, the issue that he's talking about here in the movie. So cool to hear that go out. Um, I don't want to play too much of the clip, plus it's probably hard to hear. But uh, this this shows, uh, this clip was from 2002 and then in the movie 2017. So MacArthur has been saying this for 19 years. Now, actually, he's been saying it for 50 years. <laughs> Dr. Fresca does not quit. Uh, and praise the Lord for him because he's a great encouragement to so many people as well as Phil Johnson. Uh, the authority of the Word of God is always going to be at the heart of the issue. It was the formative cause of the Reformation, and the uh, material cause was then justification through faith alone. What that means is when you put the Bible as God's Word, God-breathed, inerrant, inspired, and authoritative in all that it claims and teaches and able to make you wise for salvation, you recognize that the way we are imputed with the righteousness of Christ, the way that's credited to our account, is through trust in the death, burial, and resurrection of the God-man, Jesus Christ, alone. It's only through that. Now, repentance and faith are part of conversion. You're turning from Satan and sin to Christ and life. And uh, so that's a good thing. And if you haven't done that, make today the day. And read your Bible. That's the point of uh, this clip. And I'll put a link to the article. Check it out. And remember to hammer that like button. Like the 95 Theses. Thanks for watching, and God bless.